So our next speaker is my PhD graduate, very first graduate um, PhD student. Um, his name is Pachara Pong Tangsunan Opan. Pan uh, did um, his bachelor and master degree in chemistry at our department of chemistry at Chiang Mai University, um, mainly in the organic um, purification and also the natural products. So Pan came to us uh, to do the PhD on the biochemical side and he's done really well, published three uh, papers who are um, we are very proud of. And um, his work is mainly focused on developing the models, some of the parts that um, I already talked to you about. So today he's gonna tell us about the latest work, right, in, in uh, that we just published uh, last month, which is the development of effective prediction model for HIV-1 integrates. Uh, LEDGE AFP75 inhibitor using solvent accessible surface area energy as key determinant. So please welcome Dr. Pachara Pong Thang Sun Nan. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm Pachara Pong Thang Sun Nan, and I just graduated. Uh, I just got a PhD in biotechnology from Chiang Mai University, and I did a um, PhD project under supervision of assistant professor, uh, Dr. Nati Suri. Today, I am so proud to share, uh, to share um, uh, the most recent work that the, that was a part of my thesis in this title. In HIV life cycle, many steps of HIV replication are targeted for um, drug discovery and development. But in this project, we only focus uh, on uh, HIV integration. We believe that it's better if we can block the HIV replication process before the viral DNA combines with the whole genome. <clears throat> HIV integration consists of two key steps, um, three palm processing and stem transfer. The first way to block HIV integration is the stem transfer inhibition, which focuses at the active site of the enzyme. This target has got um, to approve the uh, for medical treatment, but uh, however, um, due to drug resistance situation, <clears throat> uh, Finding novel effective inhibitor is still needed. So we paid an attention on our third inhibition, which uh, focus at the legit P75 binding site to overcome drug resistance. Basically, HIV integrate consists of 200 SA amino acid residue with two magnesium ion as cofactor. Um, the information from X-ray crystallography can prove that um, uh, the leche binding site, which, uh, which uh, that we focus, uh, is not the active site. <clears throat> in this study, we try to develop our own platform in order to speed up and uh, improve the performance of drug discovery pipeline. If we get the uh, uh, we we believe that if we get a success from this study, we will save a lot of cost and time during the early stage of the drug discovery pipeline. Computational techniques uh, are attractive approaches that uh, are selected to study in our project. I get um, uh, somebody here who um, used to hear about um, molecular docking. And uh, Ajanati just mentioned in his presentation, uh, for our experience, traditional docking uh, has many limitations, such as lack of detailed description of uh, lichen binding and poor quality of docking data that caused um, inaccuracy of prediction model. So in our project, we aim to uh, construct a, a prediction model to uh, predict the in inhibitory activity of compound targeting HIV-1 integrate and LHF interface using energy parameters from MD simulation and MMPBSA calculation. We also identify key residue on HIV integrate 
structures that are most influential to the uh, fate of lichen binding at the lichen binding site. We use the energy parameter to construct the prediction model. <clears throat> the, these parameters uh, were collected after MPBSL calculation and divided uh, into five parameters. Energy, energy, uh, binding energy, vulnerable energy, electrostatic energy, stowing accessible surface area or SASA energy, and polar solvation energy, which were um, represented at parameter one to five. We did other prediction for the most determinant parameter selection, and then the selected parameter was used to construct the prediction model. For other prediction, um, <clears throat> we used the R square and root mean square error of calibration or IMEC to estimate which parameter is the most determinant parameter. The most determinant parameter should have the high, the highest R square and the lowest area of MEC. And we found that so when accessible surface area energy is our parameter four is the most determinant parameter with this benchmark. For model construction, it also show um, very pr promising correlation in. In the right graph, um, the blue dot represents training set and the red dot represents test set. Model construction from uh, training set show um, a strong correlation and high accuracy of prediction of calibration. And uh, model testing by test set show um, a, good a good correlation and um, acceptable accuracy of prediction. So it could be said that so in accessible surface area energy is a good predictor for the model construction. We also um, consider the lichen interaction with the Lechet binding site on integral structure. And we found that for the high potent lichen just at compound one and compound four, they are at the center of the key residue and view a large, uh, a large buried surface area. For low protein lichen, such as compound 7 and compound 17, they shift from the center of the key residue and lose some contact uh, from some amino acid residue, such as uh, glutamine 95 and threonine 124. This can be used to um, determine the uh, different level of uh, inhibitory activity. And we can use this to identify the hot spot residue at the Leche binding site on integrated structure. To prove the correlation between uh, SASA energy and very surface area, uh, we plotted the graph between uh, of the so when accessible surface area energy that calculated from molecular micro method and very surface area energy that calculated from 3D structure of compact. And as can be seen, the, the graph show um, the, the strong, a strong correlation which proved that very surface area is probably another um, parameter, uh, determinant parameter for this model construction. To sum up, uh, the PIS prediction model of um, SASA energy <clears throat> uh, gives the most accurate of prediction. And additionally, the, this model can be used to identify the hotspot residue which are more influential to the fate of lichen binding. For ongoing study, we will focus on the development of new generation drug to overcome drug resistance, the, de the development of effective platform to predict the efficiency of the lichen within the larger library, and uh, the investigation of the ovation structure and its effect around the binding partner. And we have got the 
several benefits from an MD and MM based prediction model. Firstly, we know that a uh, hotspot residue is not just uh, I'm not just a normal key residue, but act as a, a set of committee to decide the fate of inhibition. Furthermore, this key residue can be used to build a um, mutant protein and to decide a more effective drug to overcome drug resistance. And lastly, SASA energy is very useful for a uh, researcher to improve the molecular like, molecular salvation structure in order to uh, understand correctly about molecular recognition. This knowledge gives us an opportunity to have more effective way to understand molecular recognition mechanism and to decide a novel drug in the near future. This is uh, this has shown the three publication that we got from my um, PhD thesis. And if anybody want to see more detail about this talk, you can uh, you can get from the publication number three. At the end of my talk, I would like to thank to Assistant Professor Dr. Nathisuri, Associate Professor Dr. Fushinan Myohan, and Assistant Professor Nawi Gangwan uh, for uh, acting as the advisory committee of my thesis. I also give special thanks to Assistant Professor Dr. Nasisuri, my thesis advisor, for all his help, his uh, guidance and suggestion uh, during IDPD thesis. Uh, I want to thank to Assistant Professor Dr. Sulatila Kitti Vashana. Assistant Professor Panjika Pankiel and Professor Dr. Sula, uh, Supaha Nongbo and Ms. Kunawong Saipan for their cooperation. I want to thank to uh, my family, uh, Mr. Mrs. Tisukon Nangtunan, my parents, and Dr. Prana Pongtunan, my twin brother, for unconditional love and moral support. Thanks a lot to JATP and NASA for all financial support. Seeing I I was an undergraduate student until I finished my PhD. And thanks to the Department of Chemistry Faculty of Science, Chiang Mai University, for all facility. A member of CADD Lab, Chiang Mai University, and thank you all the audiences for your kind attention. Thank you. Do we have some questions from, from the floor? Any questions? น้องๆถามได้ภาษาไทยได้นะครับได้นะมีคำถามไหมครับเรื่องนี้นี่ไม่มีใครสนใจเลยใช่ไหมอ่าโอเค so so you said the delta G S A S A is the determinant parameter why do you think that is determinant for the binding and determine uh, you know the inhibitory effect why <laughs> Since you are a doctor, <laughs> you have to be able to explain, right? So, why do you think? Why not like, you know, Wonderwall or Polar? I think because um, the binding site that we, we, we use as a model mm. is a protein-protein binding site. Right. So, uh, the environmental in 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 the bite in this binding site yeah. not depend on the vendor force or electrostatic but like the, act, the active side that sometimes has the ion or cofactor yeah. so this is make more sense is this so in accessible surface area energy is a key that determinant with mm. this binding binding site Rather than um, P4, rather than parameter 4, you have anything that uh, at moderate level? It's P5? P5? Yeah, P, P5, uh, if, if you consider the... Uh, What's P5? So basically what he's saying is that this is the protein and protein interaction. It's not like an active site of the protein. So at the active site, it's like a cave. So you have to access it 
quite in the later yeah. process. Okay, P5. P5 is not bad. See? Yeah, P5 is not bad. This means P5 is, uh, yeah, have uh, Some call it a little it. effect with this binding side, but not not higher than mm. P4. Yes. What's P5? P5 is uh, polar solvation energy. Oh, okay. So it's something has to do with solvation, apparently, right? Because this yes. one is solvent accessible, solvent accessible surface area. So this one is a polar solvation. Okay. So it has to do with solvation. Could be the next of the research step, maybe. Any questions, my friend? Okay, if there's no um, question, please thank our speaker one more time, then we move on. Thank you.